now. A deadly freak accident. A woman crushed by an ambulance. First responders had no idea she had fallen under their rig. Good evening, I'm Jim Nelson. Michelle Nix has the breaking details, piecing together what happened. What could be described as a horrible freak accident as Parma Heights paramedics accidentally run over a 68 year old woman and kill her, a woman they were coming to check on. Some ambulance were starting to come here and I did hear a scream. A tragic irony as an ambulance used as an emergency vehicle to save lives is now tragically suspected of accidentally running over a 68 year old woman in this Parma Heights parking lot late Saturday night, killing her. Saw the, the person and they had a sheet already over them. My neighbor came to my door at about 10.30 and said there's something going on outside. Um, we all went downstairs to see. And obviously there was a body on the parking lot covered. Perma Heights Fire and Paramedics were initially called to the Richwood Apartments to check on a resident who wasn't answering the door. Police forced their way into her apartment where they found her conscious and breathing. Paramedics with Parma Heights Fire checked on the woman but say she refused to go to the hospital. I heard she changed her mind. As paramedics in an ambulance similar to this one were ready to clear the call, witnesses say the woman they had just checked on used the elevator to come downstairs and approach the passenger side of the ambulance, and that's when she fell. The EMS crew did not see her, according to investigators, and unknowingly ran her over. Some claim better lighting in the area could have made a difference. This parking lot does not have lights on it at night. Oh. Yeah, and we as residents have been asking them for a long time to put lights on. The horrible irony of this case obviously not lost on those who work tirelessly to rescue others every single day. Neighbors like Donna Howe say it's an accident, both tragic and sad. Yes, very freak accident and I feel so terribly sorry for the family. What's unclear is why the woman came down to the ambulance after initially refusing service. The case remains under investigation. Reporting in Parma Heights, Michelle Nix, 19 News. Lucas County Commissioner